Okay, here we have a Gryffindor plaque. I'm going to be carving this as a shield. It's going to be a relief carving. I'm going to use a mixture of chisels and uh, routers for this. Probably quite a bit of it's going to be a router, but some of it's going to be a chisel. And this one is for John Wheeler. He's done me a sign, and this one is for him. Um, so let's see how it goes. My first step is I'm going to use the router and give myself a cut line all the way around there. Normally with a relief car you'd use knives, but I use routers. So um, let's see how we go. Alright, so now I've established my cut line. I'm going to use a number seven gouge chisel and start working the edge. Alright, this is pine so it's uh, not the easiest. You probably don't want to hear that noise, so I'm just going to speed it up. Just wanted to interrupt for a sec. This is my mallet. Now, I bought this at a local craft fair, and I have to say it's quite heavy, but I love it. And just goes anytime you guys are at a fair or a show, you see a local crafter, a local woodmaker get something off of them. Buy, if it's you don't have a lot of money, buy one of their cheaper stuff. Just kind of help support their craft. I'll tell you, since I bought this, I actually didn't want to use it. It was too nice, but hey, let me tell you, it's great. Alright, so that's the basic outline done. So this part of the sign is going to be the most raised. It's going to be a level with there. I'm trying to do a bit of a, a bit of a drop on it. I'm not going to bend the shield. Um, the frame will also be raised. The background will be inset. The line will be three-dimensional, I hope. I'm changing router bits now for a much finer. This is a 1.5 millimeter spiral upcut. It's in a collet reducer, which goes into a one quarter inch uh, trim router or a palm router. You could see. All right, next step, I'm going to outline the frame and I'm going to outline the banner and all these little bits, mostly because uh, I'm a bit lazy. I don't want to redraw it every time I carve something. So I'm going to give myself an outline now. Okay, so I've outlined the lion. You can see where I've given myself stop cut, so all that's going to be lowered. What I'll just—that's going to drop down, and then the line I'll try to round over as I'm going around. Okay, now I'm going to work on the G. With the G, I'm going to be using a V groove. which I believe it's a 60 degree. Pine does not like cross grain. It's 
nothing wrong with using pine for carving. You just have to bear in mind its limitations and the things you can do with it. And if you do that, then sure. Yeah. So in the Gryffindor sign, we've got two layers. We've got another banner there. We've got the letters and this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these letters are going to be outset and the background's going to be inset again. So back to the router. Okay, well that's a start. All right, I'm going to leave that there for now until I can go find my proper carving knife because I'm just going to pop that out. Okay, next step. I'm going to start doing some of the detail in the border. And for that, I've changed my bit to a 20 degree, let me see that, 20 degree V-groove bit. All right, this is where we're at at the moment. I've done a little bit of work inside of the detail on the frame. Uh, carved out some of the scroll pattern a bit. Done a little bit of the detailing on the lion. Now I need to come in and start doing some cleanup around the edges. Alright, so now I'm going to use my rotary tool. I'm going to sand off some of this area, just smooth it out, see how it looks. Okay, that is pretty much that. Now this is for John Wheeler. He's got to paint it. But it's all yours, bud. Um, hope you like it. Hope that was informative. I'm still going to sand a little bit around the edges. But that's me signing off. Thanks for watching. And that is it all finished.